Hi everyone, I'm Dina Proctor, life coach and author of the best-selling book, Madly Chasing Peace, How I Went From Hell to Happy in Nine Minutes a Day. Talking today about what to do when you feel like you've got your goals, you're in alignment with what you want to create for yourself, but it is not happening fast enough. Or, at the same token, you know where you want to go, but there's something inside of you that feels resistant. You're just not getting it done. <laughs> I can give you an example from my own life. When I was uh, writing my book, I found myself, when I was just writing for fun, it was easy, it flowed, I was in alignment with it, it didn't have a rush to it because I wasn't thinking of it as a book, <laughs> something huge that I was going to share with the world. When I became conscious that this was going to be a book, something shifted in my mentality and I brought up all this unconscious resistance and I started noticing I was I was writing with almost a censored voice. I wasn't writing in flow anymore, I was very concerned about how it would be perceived in the world and I completely lost touch with my muse with the source of inspiration inside of myself and I was really frustrated because I knew where I wanted to go I knew how to write the book I had the support system around me to write the book but something inside of me was just keeping me stuck and every time I thought about it the whole the whole thought pattern would be oh my gosh I know I should be doing this and I can't do it and I'm so worried about what people are going to think about it I had this whole story going on in my head and this could be for anything that you're that you want to create in your life it could be a healthier body or it could be a business decision or um, it could be that you're delaying talking about something in a relationship you know you know where you want to go but you just feel stuck in getting there or you feel like it's not happening fast enough you're spinning your wheels and you're doing everything that you can and the results just aren't coming so the biggest thing that I learned this is this is what I put into practice when I was stuck with the book and it has worked in every situation I've tried since then is that I took kind of a 30-day fast of thinking of it at all. I just told myself it was kind of the end of one month leading into another and I said okay for the month of May or whatever that month was I am going to completely take all of my attention off of the book. If an inspired you know, idea for it comes to me. I'm not going to squelch it. I will write it down. And then at the end of this month, in the beginning of June, I will go ahead and pick up the book again and add all these things into it, right? So I said, I, I'm not denying my muse. I know that it might be there. I may get inspired ideas about this, but every time I think about it and every time I sit down to try and get this done, I'm not making any progress. I just feel stuck. And then it gave me relief to just think, okay, for these 30 days, I'm off the hook. And if I started to feel like that's too much time, I felt anxious, I'd say, I can worry about that in June. And the beginning of the next month, I can worry about that all I want to. But for these 30 days, if anyone asks me how the book is going, it will almost seem like, oh, what book? What, what book is that? What book are we, were we talking about? So, it, you know, just the mentality of it, of thinking, this is not something that I'm giving my attention to right now. It's giving, it's giving me so much anxiety, I just need to drop it altogether. And so for the first week or so, it was weird because I had been so wired about the book the whole time and so kind of attached to getting it done at a certain date. And it wasn't happening and it wasn't coming together fast enough and I couldn't get in flow enough to get it done. So for the first week, it was a bit of a struggle. And by the second week I was really kind of owning like I'm okay with this I'm really this is a vacation this is a hiatus I can absolutely relax I don't have to worry about it at all I don't even have to think about it at all and by the third week this is this is where I had the the little transformation on the third week I had an inspired idea like a really good line I wanted to put in the book and I knew exactly where it would go and I had my laptop with me and I thought Okay, I know I'm on my fast and it's only another week and a half or something before I can add it in there. But you know what? I know exactly where it's going to go. Why don't I just open up the document? I'll plug in that line and be done with it. So I opened up the book, you know, the, the document. I put in that line and then I kind of read over the paragraph and I had a couple more changes to the paragraph. And I said, okay, let me just kind of read this section and see if it goes okay. Then I said, let me just proof the chapter. This was all in the same, you know, hour or two that I was sitting down with this. It was just in that same that one sitting. And by the end of maybe an hour and a half or two hours, I was so fully engaged and absolutely in flow in doing the book that it took me about 10 more days of just pure writing. That's all I was inspired to do was just absolutely write. I was so in flow. And so by the time that end of that month, that May happened, I had accomplished writing almost the rest of the entire book just in those last 10 days. So 
the lesson here, first of all, it's not about trying to create that result and reverse psychology, uh, you know, so just to discourage you from thinking, okay, if I forget about it, then I'll want to do it. Let go of needing to do it at all. You've got to be as pure as you can in your intention to just take a fast from this, take a break from this. So that is what can lower your resistance to it because it's not like the words aren't there. It's not like my muse was gone completely. It's just I was so tense and constricted and I had, you know, I wanted to reach a certain deadline and I was very... It's not happening fast enough. I can't I can't make this thing come into place. That was blocking me from being able to get in touch with my muse. So when I spent those first couple of weeks, those whatever 17 days, just in total relaxation, just really kind of forgetting about it, letting it off my mind altogether. I wasn't even trying to think positively about it. I just said, it's too triggering for me right now. I'm letting go of the need to think about it altogether. Then it was like this pure, it's, it's almost like I weeded the garden. I got all the weeds, all the negative thoughts about the garden, it became this planting field, you know? And so when a seed, an idea came into my mind, it was in this place of absolute non-resistance and I was back in flow. I had released everything that had been blocking me. So just a little story and a little tip. If you feel like things aren't happening fast enough or you're blocked in some way from letting in and flowing into that which you want to create in your life, give yourself a break. If it feels too heavy or too hard to think positively about it, take your attention off of it. Give your day, give yourself a seven day or a 30 day break or fast from that issue altogether and just relax and trust that the timing of the universe, the timing of everything that needs to come together, all the people, all the circumstances, conditions that need to all rendezvous at the same time to create this what you want to manifest in your life, that everything will come together at the exact right time for your greatest good and for the greatest good of all people involved. That's my favorite thing I learned from, from, from working with Jack Canfield is for the greatest good of me and for all people involved here. And that can really help you relax and trust and get back in flow so that you can allow, not about making it happen, but allow this to come together in a beautiful way in your life. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and we will catch you next time.